welcome viewers in this video we will see the details about dc servo motor subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box now we'll go to the topic dc servo motor so this servo motor is a position control motor not a continuously rotating motor like conventional motors conventional motors continuously rotating this is not a continuously rotating motor, it is a position control motor that is for used for the radar system, position control system and other mechanism where we need a control in that we are using the servo motor. So it is controlled by the separate controller. The entire operation of this servo motor is controlled by controller. This controller gives the instruction based on signal, control signal based on that it will operate. So we have DC servo motor and AC servo motor. So the AC servo motor separate video available. Similarly, the servo motor introduction details about servo motor also separate video available. The link is given in the description box. Now we'll go to the topic. So this is the position control motor, not a continuously rotating motor. Now we'll see the construction. These motors are either separately excited DC motor or permanent magnet DC motor. So the it is like a DC motor in that separately excited. So DC motor we know that R major and field is there. The field is separately excited then R major in that supply is given. The schematic diagram of a separately excited DC motor along with its R major and field MMF and speed torque characteristics are shown below. Now we will see the detail. So the diagram is given. So this is our major rotating part. So field this is separately available. Excitation given separately. DC supply is given. So the LA is the R major inductance. RA is R major resistance. XA is R major impedance. LA plus RA will give XA. So it is excited separately. The important thing is this R major MMF and field MMF are quadrature. That is 90 degree. The phase shift between this armature and field winding is 90 degree. We already discussed this is not a continuously rotating machine. It is a position control. Wherever we need it will rotate. Either forward or reward direction and it will make a, our required position. So any small change in armature that will reflect in the speed of the motor. So both are quadrature means both are opposite, completely opposite. So there is a small change in variation in any MMF that will reflected in the position of the motor. So accordingly it will rotate. So it is not because of this quadrature not rotating continuously. Small changes will happen when there is a small change in armature MMF. So that is used for the position control of the wherever we need position control in that we are using this motor. Right. So the another thing speed torque characteristics another important thing is the speed torque characteristics. Now we will see the diagram. So the speed torque characteristics is given x axis speed y axis torque. So it is a inversely proportional negative slope negative slope both are inversely proportional. These are all the different voltages V1 V2 V3 V1 is greater than V2 than V3. So when the voltage increases, the level also increases, but it is going in a negative slope. That is also an added advantage. So any small, if the speed increases, the torque will decrease. That is the another important characteristics of a servo motor. Now we'll see the description. The speed of a DC servo motor is normally controlled by varying armature voltage. This armature voltage. So we can control the speed by armature voltage. Then what is the advantage of this negative slope? Their armature is deliberately designed to have large resistance. Armature is, we already discussed, RA, LA. This LA, RA is very large. So the torque speed characteristics are linear. So linear, so this is going in a linear manner, not a parabolic. And have a large negative slope. So we have large negative slope and also linearly vary. So any small change in voltage will change in the speed and torque in a linear manner, not in a parabolic manner. Now, now we will see what is the advantage of this the negative slope. 
the negative slope serve the purpose of providing viscous damping for the servo drive system viscous damping damping we know that it is a uh, used for uh, damping purpose damping means it will provide the the uh, it, it will provide the control force one of the control force is the viscous damping so this due to negative sloping they will have more viscous damping is available that will be used for control purpose so we will see the this quadrature armature mm of field mm of that we will see the detail as shown in the diagram the armature mm of and excitation field mm of are in quadrature quadrature means 90 degree this fact provide a fast torque response because torque and flux become decoupled so there is a fast response any small changes will be reflected immediately accordingly a step change in armature voltage or current produce a quick change in the position or speed of the rotor right so this quadrature what is the important thing a step change in armature voltage or current will produce the quick change there is no delay fast torque is there quick change in the position or speed of the motor that's why it is used in the position control so in this video we discuss dc servo motor what is the construction and what is the important thing quadrature armature mm of field mm for quadrature then speed torque characteristics linear and also negative slope so that provide more viscous damping so because of this quadrature any small change in armature current or voltage immediately responded by the motor in terms of position or speed of the motor subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening all the best for your examination